by lockdown number two, basically I never closed in none of the, the lockdowns, but by lockdown number two, I was quite vocal about it and, you know, telling everyone, you know, we're not closing, we never are going to close again. Plastered all over the news. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if there is ever another lockdown again, don't close. I'm right in saying that you're a business owner yourself. You own a gym. Yeah. Um, you were in the media at one point, weren't you? I think they were trying to trying yeah, to have a chat with you. Plaster and me all over the news. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Could you explain a little about about what happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, I think it was uh, by lockdown number two. Basically, I never closed in none of the, the lockdowns, but by lockdown number two, I was quite vocal about it and, you know, telling everyone, you know, we're not closing, we never are going to close again. Plastered all over the news. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so I, I, I remember your case very clearly. You uh, you were saying, we're not going to we're not gonna be locking down our business. Uh, we're going to carry on as normal. And then you were ha harassed, am I correct, by the council and, like, the police? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. It was just, it was insane. You know, we was getting like about 30, 40 police officers just like stationed outside the gym 24 hours a day, stopping people coming in. Like, yeah, it was yeah. just like, it was nuts, innit? Um, I'm afraid we probably know what we're, we're here for today. Um, well, we need to, one, well, we need to ask to close. I will um, close. I've we, said it before, I will completely comply. I'll shut the place down. If you can answer these questions, I've already served you with it. I'll serve you with it again. Stated, you can well, reply to me. No it's questions you can no. reply to. Well, I'll take those back to the office yep. and, uh, <clears throat> and ask them. Thanks for your time, Jim. It's nice speaking to you. Good right, up. and are you. Uh, can we come uh, in? If you can answer them questions, I'll shut the place down can immediately. In? Immediately. Can we come we're, in? We're finished. Jamie, can you come in? Can you come in? We're finished. If you can answer them, I'll no, shut the place I, down. Well, I, I don't know what the questions are, but I'll. Hey, yeah, go and take a read of them and then no. work well, Are you going to let us in? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a notice. Um, I don't accept it. If you That's can answer fine. those questions, I'll be I'll, I'll be more than happy to shut the place what down. I'm going like to do is I'm going to stick the notice on your, um, on your. We don't have a, a, a letterbox or anything like that. I don't accept the notice. That's fine. Okay. I'm still going to stick it on. The Good evening, boys. Okay. I'll be taking. If you stick anything on the shutters, I'll be taking it back to your thing. I won't open the envelope. That's fine. Fair enough. Just so uh, you know, I do not accept this notice that he's about to stick on, on the premises. This is private property, which he shouldn't actually even be touching. Just to repeat, uh, I do not accept this notice that he's about to illegally stick on the door of this premises. Yeah, I'll give that back to you, Just so you know, this notice is not accepted and I'll be done with it. It's right there. Cheers. Have a good evening, boys. Well, we'll send it to you in the post anyway. Yeah. Still not accepted, mate. Have a good evening. Thank you. I won that that case, so the, they tried to criminally prosecute me for that that, that particular lockdown, uh, and I won it. You won so, it. Yeah, yeah, Brilliant. and even won my cost back. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always good news. There's always good news, yeah. despite dark times. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, if there is ever another lockdown again, don't close. Yeah, don't close. Love it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Whilst this court case concluded back in November 2021, I think it's safe to say that this serves as a reminder for governments and ordinary people that we should never, ever let this sort of legislation 
happen again. So this has been Lewis Brackpool reporting for Rebel News. If you enjoy my boots on the ground, honest journalism, you can now help support me at ukreporters.co.uk.